It's day one of Hot Rod Power Tour. I got the truck backed out of the shop currently, waiting on everybody else to show up. I think we got around six, seven-ish people showing up. And then I've got a couple other people that are wanting to meet up as well. So once everybody arrives, I'll kind of do a little shakedown of what all everybody's taking and we'll hit the road. Yeah. Go, something crazy, jump! Alrighty, first fuel stop. I actually fueled up yesterday, but I just went ahead and topped back off because we're here and we're meeting up with our buddy here. He's got that Suburban. More on that later. It's a pretty sweet ride. So yeah, we're just getting along. Everything's going good so far. Unfortunately, Jay's fuel pump decided to quit on him this morning. So hopefully he's gonna get that together and he's gonna drive down, I think in his new truck and get his credentials and all that stuff. And then hopefully get everything fixed up after that and then he can meet up with us tonight, hopefully. So we made it down to Bowling Green. There's a sea of cars behind me. We're gonna go get our credentials real quick or something like that. And then I guess we actually get to go to the real venue after that. So here we go. Yep. All right, got the credentials that we needed, I guess. I uh, checked the transmission fluid and also just the oil real quick. This thing's acting like it didn't want to come out a second for some reason, so I don't know. And then the alternator started acting up. <laughs> started squealing the belt and the voltage dropped down, so. Uh, already having a little bit of a interesting thing. So now we gotta go wait in the long line that is to get in the actual event itself. Well, we're already stuck due to me um this thing's not really shifting out of first at all it's not one to do nothing i thought it was second gear earlier but i'm pretty sure that's just because i had it in second gear already but i don't know it's kind of acting like the governor gear is going out kind of like it did on my turbo 400 whenever i had the dually problems so i don't even know if anybody would have anything like that in stock so yeah just kind of waiting on brendan to turn around and get back here and we're kind of shake the thing out and see what the heck he thinks. Hey, we got a floor jack. Oh, do you? Mm -hmm. You want to use it? Probably want better. Yeah, can if you don't care, man. Yeah, well, we brought it. Thank <laughs> you. 
right, so we pulled the governor gear out and it was not that, it looked fine. So I don't know, we're kind of racking our brain right now trying to figure out what the heck's going on. Think we got it, Brent? I believe we did. All right, we're about to hit the road again. I think it's fixed, so we're gonna go on that for now. And uh, fingers crossed we can make it to the venue and then just have a little fun, hopefully. Get out of this heat for maybe a minute or two. Yep. Taking his brawl off over there right now, currently. Yep. I can't even hardly have the camera on it, it's so shiny. Then you got this. Like it?
right, I guess day one at the venue is completed. Brent just texted and said that they are headed to the truck, but that was pretty cool. I've never actually watched drifting in person, seen it a lot on YouTube and all that stuff, but uh, definitely something to check out in person. But we're gonna meet up with them, see what we're gonna do, hopefully find our hotel soon. Alrighty, so we're all together headed out and I am talking a madhouse. It's just bumper to bumper traffic and we're just sitting here waiting in line. I don't know if it's better to get out of here a little earlier than everybody else or what, but yeah, there's a ton, a ton of cars waiting just like we are. So hopefully we'll get back on the road and moving pretty good here before long. But for now, we're stuck waiting. Oh man, so we made it through that little traffic jam. I was about a critical mass on peeing, so I went to the woods here behind me and relieved myself. I ran into a big mess of like cockaburros or whatever. I guess it's a good thing I didn't have to poop, right? So <laughs> we're gonna get back in and uh, go on, I guess towards the hotel. We made it to the hotel. It's not too bad. It's called Vet City. It's got a little Mexican restaurant in front of it, which is probably my favorite thing to eat. So I'm trying to talk the group into going there. So we'll see. But man, day one of Hot Rod Power Tour is in the book. All right, Neil, we going out in the Cobra? We going out, yeah. Where are we going? Uh, going to eat somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> Mr. C's or P's or something. Here you get you you get a rip. He can't, he can't do good on this. Uh oh. Here it comes. <laughs>
doing, Neil? All right, we're gonna watch some burnouts in the middle of the street here at the Power Tour. Power Tour. <laughs> So that's gonna wrap up day one, it looks like. Basically I got a burnout pad outside of my hotel room right now, but I am beat. So I'm gonna start editing this video up right now as I close these blinds and hopefully the burnouts don't go into the wee hours of the morning. So hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Appreciate you hanging in here, riding along with us. Hopefully you'll come back tomorrow. Got another burnout going right now, but yeah, Hot Rod Power Tour Day 1 in the books. See y'all tomorrow.